We recognize World Water Day. Speaking at an event on global water issues, the head of the EPA, Andrew Wheeler, said there will be some who say this all stems from climate change. The truth is that water challenges have been around for generations and are causing immediate deaths annually. Uh, joining us now is Ugmanu Lal, Columbia Water Center Director, and Patrick Decker, Xylem CEO. Xylem is one of the world's largest providers of pumps and equipment to treat and transport uh, water. So Upman, uh, if, you, if you take a look at, say, uh, what um, uh, Wheeler was talking about, he basically said it was worse than climate change. Walk us through if that's true. Why yeah. are they rivals? Oh, these are not rivals. We have climate change aggravating already emerging water issues around the world. Uh, for example, even if, in the, if you, you look at the United States, uh, this is not a place where many people think there are water issues. And yet we have a large population being exposed to lead in water. We have, we have a large population where wastewater treatment is not happening. We have dams that are 70 years old that were designed last for 50 years. So we have a problem. Right. Talk to the mayor of Flint. Talk to the folks down in Florida where, you know, their water basin is certainly at threat. Patrick, come on in on this. You've been on air with us before. Um, when we look at the water problems, clean water problems, this is something you guys are, are, are dealing with front and center. What are the biggest issues and problems that you are dealing with? Yeah, and, and first of all, I would completely agree with Manu that, that uh, these, all these issues are interrelated. Uh, and so we start with the issues of scarcity, affordability, and building resilient structures against climate change. So all of these things go hand in hand. On the issue of water quality, uh, emerging contaminants uh, is certainly an issue that we see in working with the EPA uh, and other regulators around the world. So if you think about what's being dumped into the water supply, uh, whether it be opioid, opioid crisis and other things. Mm. Uh, but the good news is there's a lot of research being done, a lot of practical solutions being brought forward to address those issues. Uh, I think the issue, what I love about World Water Day is every day should be Water Day because we have the opportunity to create awareness around these issues. And I think we spend a lot of time talking about the challenges, which we should, but we'd love to talk as much about the solutions to these challenges because it's the, the technology exists to actually solve these problems. Well, it doesn't matter, though, where it comes from. So, Manu, from where you sit, is it sort of uh, emerging countries that are the issue? Is it companies polluting the water? Is it literally just scarcity? Is it how we treat it? Like, wh what's the biggest issue? So I think in a way it's all of the above, right? And so what this turns into is approaches that are needed are to address these systemic issues across the board. And uh, as Patrick said, technologies are there. It's a question of how do we deploy them? Mm -hmm. How do we deal with proper regulatory structures? And how do we deal with pricing on these things? And that's where the solutions really lie today. Well, and I'm curious too, who, who's responsible for getting it right? Is it, you know, got to be a public-private partnership? Because I can go back 10 years and I remember bringing up in a newsroom, you know, water being the next commodity that we really have to be mm -hmm. thinking about and everybody kind of poo-pooed it. But here we are today having this conversation. So one of the reasons I'm, I'm very optimistic is I think there is growing awareness, albeit through tragic events. There is more awareness. Uh, I'm a big believer that whether it be millennial, Gen Z, you know, call the name, uh, I do think that the younger generation uh, has a deep passion, as long as we educate them, on making a change here. Not just to make it affordable, but they feel responsible around this. But I think that, as Monty mentioned, as long as we move beyond the politics of fear around the water issue and talk about what can be done about that, uh, I think the role to be played is both public and private. Uh, the, the approach we're taking is partnering with people like Manu and other academic institutions, but also the regulators. Right. Uh, and to, to get at the business model that we're talking about here, because the economic, it always comes down to the affordability issue and the economics.